MGTOW Minute. This is Canadian MGTOW, having fun, and not giving a shit. Well, another day, another threatened feminist, Megan Murphy, a misandrist at Feminist Current, wrote an article protesting sex dolls, but what is really telling about Megan's hatred of men can be summed up in the first sentence of her article. To paraphrase, Sex dolls are a solution to not only men's supposed loneliness and unmet sexual needs, but to their violent, perverse desires. I think little Megan might be projecting. According to a 2011 study, 25% of straight porn searches by women are for videos featuring violence against their own sex. Search rates for more extreme types of sexual content are at least twice as common among women than men. Megan's first sentence is what I personally hate the most about feminists, and that is their empathy gap. The phrase, men's supposed loneliness, is utterly dismissive. Also the phrase, unmet needs, has quote marks around it as to mock it. Sexual satisfaction isn't a male need, it is a human need. There is a real issue that some people will never date. They will always be too ugly, fat, shy, or antisocial that they will probably never find the right person for them. And if you are MGTOW, the juice is simply not worth the squeeze. The real issue feminist of with sex dolls, which they will never admit, is this. Women have always been the gatekeepers of sex, and that gives them power. Anything that threatens or decreases that power, will be summarily protested. Now if you will excuse me, I have some violent perverse desires to attend to.